Over the last few years, video games were getting more and more popular in the United States, but games like pool and pinball were still quite a bit more popular. That would change in 1978. You've heard the name mentioned a few times now, Taito Taisho, was founded in 1953 by Michael Kogan as the Taito Trading Company. They introduced their first video game in 1973. In 1978, they developed one of the most popular video games of all time, Space Invaders. Space Invaders was loosely based on Breakout, but the bricks were replaced with aliens that would slowly move towards the bottom of the screen, and the paddle was replaced with a spaceship. Space Invaders also popularized some pretty important concepts that most people don't even think about today. Previously, games had a timer or a set score that dictated playtime. Space Invaders had lives, with the player being able to gain extra lives by accumulating a certain amount of points. It was also the first game to have background music, albeit a basic four-note melody. Video game scholar Andrew Chapman said the following about the game's music, quote, It was thus the first time that sound effects and music were superimposed to form a rich sonic landscape. Not only do players receive feedback related directly to their actions through sound effects, they also receive stimulus in a more subtle non-interactive fashion through music, end quote. Space Invaders was created by Tomohiro Nishikado. Supposedly, Nishikado came up with the design for the aliens in the game after watching the 1953 version of The War of the Worlds when he was a boy. Space Invaders would become ridiculously popular in Japan, where it was first released in June 1978. So popular, in fact, that arcades opened with no other game besides Space Invaders. In six months, by the end of 1978, Taito had installed over 100,000 Space Invaders machines, making over $600 million. By 1982, Space Invaders would become the best-selling video game of all time and highest grossing entertainment product of its time, making an average of $600 million per year from 1978 to 1982. Just when you thought 1978 couldn't get any bigger, Nintendo released their first game this year. To give you a brief history of Nintendo, they were founded in September 1889 by Fusahiro Yamawachi and produced Hanfuda playing cards. Back to the 70s, Nintendo released their first video arcade game, Computer Othello. As you probably guessed, it played Othello. Nintendo also released the Color TV Game 112. Remember those dedicated consoles that Magnavox released a few years ago? That is basically one of those. It featured a bird's eye view racing game that implements a steering wheel and gear shift. To round out 1978, Magnavox released another console, the Magnavox Odyssey Squared or Odyssey 2. Don't really know which it is. By the time it was released, Magnavox had been acquired by Philips. As such, the Odyssey 2 or Odyssey Squared, whatever, was known as the Philips Video Pack G7000 in Europe, Philips Odyssey in Brazil, and Philips Odyssey 2 in the United States. The Odyssey 2 used removable circuit cards to play games, which are very similar to cartridges. This allowed the player to purchase whichever games interested them. The games themselves were a big leap over the games from the original Odyssey, with each game having background and foreground graphics, gameplay, scoring systems, and music. It was crazy. And that's gonna do it for the history of video games for 1978. Space Invaders dominated this year, and Nintendo also released their first foray into the video game world. Thank you for watching this part of the history of video games. If you enjoyed the video or learned anything, leave a like. Leave a dislike if you didn't enjoy the video or didn't learn anything. God, how much more mumbly can I get with these? Follow me on Twitter at Mitten Squad. My name is Paul of Mitten Squad. Have a wonderful day.